Hello. Hi, friends. Hello, and welcome back to Tammy Loves Vintage, where I, oh, oh, dear. I have my ear thing in. Let me see. Can you guys hear me with this thing in? Oh, shoot. I just remembered that. I might need to get out and come back. Um, hmm. Let me see. Am I live? Okay. Is that this morning's live? <laughs> I have the same thing on. Oh, my gosh. Shoot. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I can hear myself. Oh my gosh. I can hear myself in my ear. That's weird. I'm, so what happens if I take it out? I'll just turn it down. Okay. <laughs> I am a, I am an electronics wannabe. <laughs> yeah, oh man. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> so, Okay, well, let's see here. How do I get back? I don't want to end it. I want to close that. Okay, here we are. So, you guys, so I was on earlier today, and I totally forgot to share a package that I got in the mail the other day, and I've been dying to open it up. It is from someone that follows me, Becky um, Cotras, C-O-U-T-R-A-S. I should probably cover up all the addresses, but I wanted to open it up, and from the sound of it... I think I know one thing that's in here for sure. Um, I did a video a while ago where we were supposed to use springs for spring, and I didn't. I only had a couple of teeny tiny springs, and I love what we came up with for sure. But um, I did get a message from this gal asking me if I could use some springs, and I said sure. Yes, I didn't have any, and this whole box is. Yes, look what she sent me. Oh my word. A whole box. So let me let me see here. I need to put I need to I'm gonna switch it over. There you go. So we have a whole box full of springs, and these are not just any little springs, these are big springs. Let me see what she said. Oh, what a cute, what a cute note. Hope these help you spring in, uh, spring into spring. Can't wait to see what you do with one. Love your style and all that you do. Oh my gosh, Becky. Look at this. She sent me snaps and buttons and a little wire with a with a little fringe on it. Like, oh, it's a flower. It's the inside of a flower stamen. Okay, I see. And then another little sewing piece. How absolutely sweet, Becky. Oh my gosh. So yes, this is going to go. These are going to go on my tape. Look how big they are. I don't know that I've ever seen such a big spring before <laughs> look how big they are um yeah so this is going to go on my table for my friend julie and i to ponder over and see what we can come up with of course off the top of my head i don't know if you guys can hear me with this noise um of course off the top of my head you know you want to do what everybody else does let me lay this down here um you want to do what everybody else does and put a nest in you know, you put a nest in here. Um, but these are so big. So, you know, as a create, you know, as a creative, you kind of think about things and you try to look at it differently. So um, I'm just trying to think. Like you look at it every which way. You turn it upside down, you <laughs> you do everything. And so for me, as big as it is, I would think I would want to do something this way. Or I'm wondering even if you cut it and had created a smaller spring, like a spring that went to here, um, to do something with. We've done a lot with springs, but I just... I'm I'm blank because it's so big. So um, they're very very cool. They're very boinky. You know my word boinky. So um, I'm sorry I keep looking down at my camera instead of up at the phone. Um, I just want to make sure like I'm in I'm in frame and look at the comments and stuff. So anyway, Becky, thank you so much for sending me those. And yes, we will come up with something awesome. You guys start sending me your spring ideas put a candle in the middle yeah but i want to do something even more you know that's yeah i, I gotta get out of the box <laughs> i gotta get out of the box lisa um you guys come to me for like inspiration so i, I feel like i gotta uh blow it out why do i always have to blow it out of the park on everything i do i don't know I mean, I don't always do that, but I try. Um, I could cut it in half. Exactly, Yvette. That's what I was thinking, too. Because it's so tall, 
Um, and I like the idea of laying it on its side. I was wondering if the directions of the springs are laying down right now could use paper, could paper uh, stand up? Yeah, because it definitely looks like a, a file sorter, um, something like that. But I'm thinking just a simple, you know, you would have to get something to put the wood on. I know this has nothing to do with our teacup and the welcome to my page because I'm always, I always send you one, tell you one direction and then I, I veer off everywhere. So <laughs> if you ever like don't want to hear what I'm talking about in the beginning, you probably should catch the replay and slide it clear through to the end because I usually have, I'm clear out in left field. I'm showing you something in the house or whatever. Um, but I'm wondering if you have, if you had a, a piece of wood with a couple of um, grooves, I was going to say gullies, but grooves to set it down in. And then you literally made an arrangement, I was thinking like a plate or a breadboard, some sort of an awesome surface, even a frame, um, you know, even a frame. Um, and you may actually made like, um, you know, like an arrangement right on the thing, um, right on the spring and just made the spring like the interesting part of your arrangement. And then it could trail on down in, but you see what I'm, I mean, look, how cute is that? <laughs> there you go. I'm done. <laughs> but that's kind of what, when I held it this way, I thought, oh, this now becomes an interesting base for an arrangement or for something. I don't know. Um, let me keep thinking about it. Let me keep thinking about it. That's the only thing that came to my mind that might be different. So anyway, uh, oh gosh, there was a lot of comments here. I was wondering if, let's see, let me put you back on so you can watch me instead of my elbow. Um, who else is saying? Lots of springs. Yes. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Lori. Uh, let's see here. I was wondering if the direction, okay, I read that one. Huge. They are huge. Um, let's see. Lavena loves them. And De hi, Debbie. Hi, Pam. Uh, okay. Hey, Ruth. Hi. Hey, Daryl. Um, square pieces of wood on each. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Lisa. Something like that. Hey, Nelda. Hi, you guys. You could staple it to the board. Yes. Yes, I could. I could do it. If I did that, I'd probably, I could do it vertical then. Um, you could put plates, you could put plates on a spring. Yes, yeah. You see a lot of that on Pinterest where it's, you know, the spring is standing there and, and it's got a plate and all decorated or a nest sitting there. Um, that We've done that years ago. Of course, I've been doing this stuff since 2013 here live. So if you guys look back, you'll see all that kind of thing. Um, but today, now I've got this. Um, oh, let me put you back down. It's only the second time I've used this camera system here, so you guys bear with me. So I did run downstairs and I did find this type of a easel. Now I repositioned my camera too. I, were getting a lot, I was getting a lot of comments, um, good and bad. So I repositioned my camera up a little higher so you're not going to pick up little details, but I think you'll still get it. Uh, so you can get all different kinds of these, but this is a cup and saucer easel, I guess you would call it. So the plate, the plate goes in and sits like this, and then the cup hooks on and hangs down. Okay. Um, that's your simplest way to display your cup and saucer is like that. Uh, okay. So we're going to put the plate and holder away for now. And you can find those, I mean, Walmart even probably has them, you know, they're everywhere. Um, I don't think they're anything too hard to find. So the first thing I want to do, I did look back at the picture just to get a little bit of, um, of a memory boost of what the gal on Pinterest did. Oh, shoot. I didn't look at her name and, and my camera system. I'm on my wrong phone, I think. Ah, poo. I don't know, you guys, if I can find, okay, let me, I'll show you what, what I have to go through here to find um, it was quite a while ago. Um, let's see if I can find, and once all of these passed, it was right in here. There it is. I found it. Okay, here you go. So this is the picture 
that we posted on Facebook. And let me see here. Uh, oh, I just lost it. Architectural art something. It said architectural art. Oh, daggone it. Let's see. Let's see here. Hang on. Architectural art. <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? Uh, oh, you guys, I have so many things of mine and of, oh, there it is. Architectural art designs. Architectural art designs on Pinterest is the one that originally created this idea. And there again is what it, um, what it looks like. Okay. And I posted this back. I don't, um, it doesn't show the date that I posted it. Uh, no, um, March, it was sometime in March for sure. Let's see. So where was I? Okay, so here I am. So I can watch for you guys' comments. I'm just going to plug it in just because I, I think I'm fine. But Okay, so I pulled out this doily. It was right on top, and I've cut it off and used it for something else. So I'm just going to use a piece. I kind of quit looking at that camera. <laughs> and look at you guys up here. Um, so I'm just going to cut a piece off. I probably should have grabbed my fabric scissors. Yes, Linda, that is who um, originally did this idea so I wanted to be sure to give them the credit um, and then I don't know that this would be like my doily of choice but it is one I've already cut off and you only need to see just a little bit of it so let's just see what happens here and you guys can see me you had to write it down <laughs> okay and I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of all of this bulk I don't think we need it and so this is a perfect thing to throw in your snippet drawer. So this would normally go to the trash, but, you know, sewed on with a whole group full of other pieces. This is a perfect piece for the snippet thing. Um, and then the spring. So for me, I probably would have had my doily come out at the bottom if it were, you know, my design. I would have probably done it this way. But I like how they had it come out of the top. Um like this so I thought that was kind of interesting so anyway I'm going to put some hot glue in here um I'm just gonna put some hot glue on this glass and hope that it is fine and then we'll peel it back and see where it like isn't grabbing great or whatever where I need to do a little more um, down in a little bit more I don't think I need it out that much okay so when I say what I mean is like see how this doesn't is doesn't hook down so I'm just gonna slap some glue on there and um, there we go now our little doilies kind of oops and it's not sticking to the glass of course it's not it's hot glue and glass okay so there we go. So now we've got just a little bit of fabric inside of our cup. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is get some sort of grass or moss or something like that. And so I have our moss from the website and then I have Spanish moss. Theirs was a little more grassy. I would say they could have used like a real nest even, which I've packed all mine away now for spring. Um, I think I'm gonna use a mix, okay? I'm gonna use a mix. So let me just get some of this out. Ugh, so yucky. Um, and I'm just gonna jam this down into the cup. Gosh, that's enough, isn't it? That is totally enough. So you guys can see, yep, all right. So, and I'm gonna put just a little bit more only because I wanna cover that little bit where you can see that the lace stopped. Yes, I'll just hang it from the hook, yes. Okay, so there we go. Now I've got my little cup full of what looks like a nest. Okay, can you see that? Ah, let's see, no. <laughs> On my camera you can, but not on my page. So you guys, anybody that didn't catch me earlier, um, if you turn your phone this way, you can see the whole screen instead of a partial screen, okay? Um, so just turn your phone long ways um, and it'll be better for you. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to drizzle some hot glue here at the bottom of that rough edge of that lace just to um, cover that up. I don't want... I don't want you to see that. So I want this 
moss to kind of grab there for sure. And then anywhere else it wants to grab is fine. But I really want to make sure that you don't see that raw edge of the lace. Here I've got a little bit right here. So I'm going to put a little, just a couple little dabs actually on the lace and then pull my grass up to break that up a little bit. Let me see what you guys can see here. Yep, okay. And then let's see, same thing on the other side as well. So I'm gonna put a little bit of moss or a little bit of um, glue here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of moss to that glue so that all of my rough raw edges of the doily that I cut are covered with moss. If I could get it to quit sticking to my finger. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. I want a little bit of it hanging out. I don't mind a little bit. I just don't want a whole lot. Okay, so let's see if I can. This is the one thing I hate about working with moss is how messy it is. Um, but, you know, there's no way to get around it. And you can't get that look with anything else, really. Uh, so there's the brown color, kind of an earthy color, I think. And then I'm going to add, since I chose a cup that's got that bright, happy green in it, um, in the pattern, I'm going to add some of my moss from my website. I I like this stuff. I want to get the green. It's kind of got both. I'm going to add a pinch of both. So just to give it a little bit of brightness, um, this moss is on my website at Tammy Loves Vintage under the greenery tab. I know, I know a bunch of you have ordered it. Um, so it'll probably be a while. It lasts a long time, so I know you'll have it for a while. There, yeah, that just kind of brightened it up a little bit and made it a little bit more cheery. And it almost looks, you know, very real, actually, with the, the almost like sticks. It's not really sticks, but like the Spanish moss having that brown tone in there. So I like that. Okay, and I'm going to leave it turned. This, oh, so wait a minute. So when I hang it, oh, I kind of did it upside down. Oh, shoot. When I hang it, it's going to hang like that. It's upside down. Oh, well, for Pete's sake. Hang on a minute. Let me, let me flip it around. Oh, my gosh. Luckily, it pops right off of glass, so I could just turn it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's turn it. All right, get your crap together here, girly. All right, so I'm going to hang it here. I want my nest down. There, okay, right there is how I'm going to glue it. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> minor, minor mistake. <laughs> uh, it does stick to your skin. Yes, it does. But it's not messy, at least. Oh, shoot. Now I ran out of glue sticks, too. So those are over in the drawer beside me. So hang on a minute. I have to go get a glue stick. And then I kind of want this to be, I want this to hang right. Do I need to move it again? Let's see. I'm still a little, I'm still a little crookedish. Hang on. I still need to move it. Let me let that dry so it pops off. If I don't do it, if I don't do it when it dries, it'll be all stringy and yucky. Let me grab a glue. Um, let me grab another glue. So I just use this Sure Bonder glue. Um, in the rolls and then I cut it in half so I'm going to cut it in half okay and then we'll get rid of this for now if you if you don't cut it in half it's kind of heavy and um, it makes it hard to um, oh it's still a little bit wet all right let's try one more time I'm going to hang it on here I want my nest to be down like that. Okay, so that's where I want it. Gee whiz. Okay, I probably lost all of you now that I'm totally messed up. Okay, there we go. So now we've got our fabric. We've got our little bit of moss. Um, a little does go a long way, and it's going to hang super cute just like that. And yes, it looks like... Um, it looks like a little nest in there. So then I got out my Easter eggs and we're going to, um, I don't have a little tiny one with the paper. I do have 
like that size where I've added paper. I've got the big ones, but that's way too big. Um, and then I have some clay that I did with clay, and that's, I was thinking about using the clay. Uh, not clay, they're paper mache. I'm sorry, I did balls of paper mache and shaped them into, um, into the little egg shapes. And I think that's a better, I think that's a better size. So I think I'm gonna use those. Um, so we've got two little eggs in our nest now. And then um, I've got to decide, like, do I wanna use these little, like this is my vintage, um, all my vintage flowers from hats and things. Um, okay, so we're looking at green. Oh, that yellow is so pretty, but it doesn't really have yellow in the cup. It really is truly just whites and greens. Um, let me check my bag of paper flowers. Hang on, let me just shove all this out of the way for now. Let me get all that out of my way. And let's try a different bag. I've got several bags of stuff here. Um, these are not vintage, but these are paper that I have sprayed with the um, uh, with the antiquing spray. And I think that's staying more true to my cup, the, the colors in my cup, although it might need just a pop of color. Let's see here. I'm going to leave a little bit of wire just so that I don't really think I need it, but I'm going to add a little bit of wire here. Now, these are like three-dimensional roses, and I do get these off of Etsy. They come in a big sleeve, like a big um, sleeve. They come from Smile Mercantile, um, and they come like a whole big, I don't know how many there are. I'm going to guess 20. I don't know. Um, and then I sprayed them to be this brown instead of the white that they are when they come, um, when they come to you. Let's see, here's more of that. They were like little, a bunch of little sections all laid together flat like this, and it's like a sheet of them, okay? Um, and here is a, I love this, the little, um, oh, and it doesn't really super show up. I don't wanna waste it. It's a little Lily of the Valley uh, stem. Oh, here is, here is a little um, vintage pin. Now these are cute little corsage. That's super sweet. That's like super sweet. Let's see. I might just have to use that. That's pretty, I hate to waste it, but it's not wasting, right? It's sweet. Oh, and there's little gold balls. Yeah, let's stick with this bag. I'm liking what I'm finding in this bag better. Um. And then, let's see, so I have this rose in my hand, but if I do this little cluster, that's easy peasy. But I found this antique shopping, so you guys, I can't send you anywhere for it. Um, it's a vintage thing, for sure. Um, and I've got these little kind of satiny um, leaves that might be nice, just for a little contrast, since I've got all that uh, green moss in there. Green leaves aren't going to show up as well, but are they too big? Mm, kind of big. I need to just use like these two little ones. Okay, so we've got a couple of little ones here. Let's put one in here. I don't know that I want to glue it down just yet because I'm not 100% sold, but I think I am. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Now I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see, no one's saying anything, so you must be okay to be able to see. Yeah, isn't that sweet? But you could build up the same sort of a, maybe you'd rather watch me build one up. Um, so, same sort of an arrangement, um, like very easily. You can see just by adding a few little, maybe I better just do my own. Let's just do our own. That's more fun than plopping something in that's already done. Even though I really liked it. <laughs> okay, and then let's add this little flower here. Okay, and then I'm going to add this one. You guys can still see me. Add 
this flower in right here by that egg. Now the eggs I haven't glued down yet because I don't know exactly where I want them. Um, because I have to add that banner too. If you guys saw the banner, I've got to add the banner. Uh, so we're going to see how we want it to go here. Um, just looking and thinking I might want, uh, where would that bundle go? And it just had, oh, let's do some of these little gold. I found these little gold things, little gold kind of berries like. Let's pop, whoop, let's pop. I've got four. Let's see if we need all four. I don't know. Okay, we're going to pop those in. Let's see. How nice to have a day to be able to hang out with you guys. It's been a while. We finished some paint jobs. Um, we've been busy uh, at work and uh, I've been busy in my group in the evenings and just, you know, life. So, oh, that's sweet. I love the little pops of gold because of the, um, the gold in the cup. Super awesome. Okay, let's see if we can find another flower. I feel like I want something tinier and whiter. Here, what's this little doodad? Let's see. Yeah, let's add that in there. So you can see it doesn't take much of anything at all, really. There's a little white one. I feel like I might want another a bigger white one back there, but I don't know if I have any. Oh, yes, I do. Wow. Oh, that was not super white. It's not super white, but that's the right size. See, I went, I sprayed everything I got. Because who uses white? Not me. But now I need a white one. <laughs> I've sprayed that whole package that I got. Darn it. There, that one's a little creamy. This one will work. It's not as, um, as stained. I don't know why I do that. I get white stuff. I'm like, gosh, I can't even think. It's so white. I can't even, like, I just have no creativity at all when you see the, just the white. So I kind of stain it, and then instantly it looks more my style. So, okay, let me find another leaf. Um, Let's see here. I'm going to hang yeah, like that. All right, let's hang this leaf out somewhere. Mm, I'm gonna move it over. I kind of like it over here a little bit more. Now my moss and stuff is shifting. Okay, you guys can still see. Let me get my egg back in here. So there's two little eggs. I don't know that I want to do a whole whole lot more. I kind of I kind of want to go. I can't, what did I do with that other leaf that I said I, oh, there it is. Oh, it is big. It's real big. Let's see here. But I kind of need it. Let's, um, here's my wire cutters. I'm going to cut it like way off and just get rid of it and just use the tip of it. Okay. And I'm going to just tuck it right there where you just see that tiny little edge of it. Okay, and then we've got our green moss coming out. So when we put it in, let's see how our, our, our egg's setting. Yeah, everybody's happy. So here's how it's gonna sit. Where are you? Let me look in my camera here to see. Um, how is, I gotta wait on the delay. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the words are in the way, but if your phone's tipped, you'll be able to see. Let's see, how can I get away from those words? If I move it up. It's adorable and it matches like it matches the cup um, really well. So, OK. All right. So let's see here now as I look at it laying this way, I want to add another little gold thing and Bobby. Another little gold. Th Where's my glue in here? Uh, another little gold thing. I see it. Oh, I see a spot up in here. And then now that it's kind of turned a little bit, I know you guys can see um I'm wondering about yeah let's do this flower um okay uh can you see it you guys almost can't see it um okay so I added that flower 
Okay, so let's see what you can see here. <laughs> okay, let me pull it down a little bit. There we go. Okay, all right. So I've got one more of these little gold things, but I don't think I need it. So I'm not going to stuff it in there if I don't need it. But I do feel like I need one more flower. Yep, I'm going to throw one more. It's a little bit pinkish, but it's creamy enough that it's fine. And I like the contrast of it. So we're going to shove it in and down. So it's there, but it's not in your face. Okay, so I'm done. Oh, actually, I'm not done. I might want to add a green leaf here. Just one. Yeah, I'm going to add one green leaf just to break up that whole big tannish, goldish looking one. There we go. There we go. Okay, there you go. Okay, now what I want to do is make the banner. It's the last thing um, that I remember that was in the picture that I need to do. So let me get this out of the way here. Okay, get this out of the way and then I'm going to bring my stamps over and my pins okay so I wish I had a pearl a pearl pin all I have really is the crystal I mean I have pearls but they're white I wish I had um, creamy ones but I don't so I have this set of snap pegs um, stamps so I didn't cut a small lay. Oh yeah, that would be super cute. I will do that. That's a great idea, Lisa. If I remember when I'm done, remind me. I always put a bow on everything, right? Um, okay, so then you just snap, you just snap these apart. S-P-R-I. I started it and then I didn't finish. S-P-R-I-N. Uh, N. And then I need a G. D. Oh, here's a G right here. And they, these are lowercase and capital letters. And um, you can find this in my Etsy shop if you guys want something like this. But what I like about it is not, when I stamp, my letters are like, woo, 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 they're all over the place. And with this, it makes you, um, it, it lets you at least have your letters straight. So here is the word spring because that was in hers. Now, I think that the architectural art page on um, uh Etsy, I think they printed theirs off in a bigger, um, in a bigger thing, but um, I didn't do that. So now let's see here. I've got brown paper. I've got black ink. Um, is the brown, I don't know if the brown paper is going to be too dark or not, but we're going to try it. And so let's try our spring stamp. Um, and just see what we get here. Okay, I'm do it again. <laughs> Not the best stamper. I'll try one more time. There, perfect. Third time's a charm. Okay, so there is that. So there is my word spring. Oh, but it's too close to the edge. Oh man, it's too close to the edge. What was I thinking? Ah! Okay, hang on a minute. S P R. I lost my eye. <laughs> I. Okay, here's my I. S P R I N G. Okay, let's try this one more time. I was too close to the edge because I need to make a banner. Okay, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this out. Sometimes I just think, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you? Uh, we should make some pins with cream color. Oh, Linda, that's an idea. Yeah, because I don't have any. So you're saying make them instead of buy them. <laughs> Leave it to Linda to challenge me, right? Lord knows I got plenty of pearls, so I could totally do it. Okay, so there's that much. And then let's just see, do I want it to go all the way across the cup? I don't think theirs was like that. 
I mean, we can do it however we want. We don't have to do exactly what they did. I'm going to get my smaller scissors here. And I'm going to go in and make a V. Just take a little bite out of this to make it look more like a banner. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm trying to... Let's see. And then I'm a little bit longer, I think, over here than I was over there. So let's... Go in and make our V. Okay, so now we have our little banner and I just wanna kinda bend it a little bit. Um, not too much, but kinda make it bannerish. Okay, just bending it a little bit. And then I think I'm just gonna tack it right here onto the um, yeah, I'm, because it's not going to stick to anything else, I'm going to tack it to the, um, oops, I'm going to tack it to the doily. So I'm going to just put some glue everywhere and see where it grabs. Um, here we go. Okay. All right. So here we go. There is our little spring cup and saucer. Can you guys see? Um, yeah. So whoever it was, one of you girls messaged me to see if I would show you how to make this. I mean, I don't know. I didn't invent it, but this is from looking at her pictures. Um, this is what it looks like to me that she did. Um, now you could, I mean, you could still jazz up your little sign and I got my dauber out here with my what is it coffee to rub around the edges but because I used the oh I know what else because I used the brown paper I don't think I don't think I need to do that and then I remember catching a detail I forgot about which probably too late now but yeah she used a pin and she pinned hers in and I don't really have anything to pin mine to but I liked the little pin idea. So let's see if we can get this hole in here. Let's see if I can poke this pin. There we go. The pin was really a cute touch. There we go. So she had pinned hers in. I don't really, like I said, I don't really have anything to pin it to, <laughs> but, um, Oh, it's on, it's, Julia, it is on my Amazon store, so it's under craft supplies. So I know you guys are always asking me for links, and it's, it's always right there for you. I just, I showed you guys earlier today how to do it, but I'll show you again. Um, a little gold on the banner. Oh, yeah, that would be sweet. I could do that easy enough. Hang on. Um, let me show you with my phone here how to do that. Hang on a minute. Okay, hang on just one second. Let's add a little gold um, to the banner. And it came off. Let me tap it. Let me tack it back up here. Okay. See if I can grab it. There we go. Okay. So let me see if I can add a little bit. I've been rough on this paper, haven't I? <laughs> oh, why do I hurry? I'm always in a, I'm not really in a hurry, but I always make things hard on myself. There we go. There you go. So I added a little bit of gold to it. I don't think it shows up a whole lot with the um, brown paper, but maybe it does in different lights. But there you go. So I added some, where are you? <laughs> I added some gold to the paper. So there you go. Okay, so now let me show you. Um, and so that's it. That's all I, oh, I was gonna put the ribbon on the top. Yeah, I like that idea. Because this is so old, it's been bent, bent a million times. Um, let's do, do we like the goldy beigey or do we like the more white? It's not white, but it's whiter. Yeah, that's better. The brighter, a little bit brighter. Okay, so seam binding. So I just had somebody message me too. They wanted seam binding, so I've sent you that. Uh, but it's all under my craft supplies, you guys. It's so easy. So um, let me show you while you're still here. So 
can you see my phone? Yeah. Oh, wait, what did I do that for? I'm going to get out of the live and I'm going to scroll to my page. Okay. To the top of my page. And then the very first post after all my, you know, all my stuff is this picture of my logo. Um, and if you just tap that, it says Amazon shop, go to my Amazon shop and there's craft supplies. Go to my craft supplies and you will find my, um, you probably find some things in here more than once, but this is everything that I've used on all of my videos that you guys are always asking about. There's all the velvet. Um, there's those great fabric scissors, but I know that these stamps are in here. Uh, just don't know where I've got a lot in my craft supplies. Oh, it's happening. They might be closer to the top, but there they are, right there, right there, boom. So let me see if I, so I so in order to do that for you guys, I have to do that and find it, and then oh, it won't let me copy the link from here. I have to go. Okay, so then I have to go to my Amazon shop, and I type it in, and I type in what was it? P E G S, peg stamps. I think that's what it was called. Pegs. Oh, P E G Z. Okay. So when you guys ask me, <laughs> I have to go to all this trouble, right? When it's all right there, it's not a lot of trouble, but when it's a bunch of you wanting a bunch of things, it kind of does take a good bit of time to do it. So I'm happy to do it, but then I got to go back and find who wanted it and um, make sure I get it to the right person. And then half the time you guys don't even see that I did it. So there it is, Julia. But that's how you find it um, if you are catching the replay and I'm not here to do that for you. Um, it says posting. There you go. It just posted. Um, there you go. So let's add this bow and it will, will be all good. All right. So I always make them a little bit longer than I want because I can always cut it off and add some snippets to my if it rolls okay so do I want it up here it's almost too much I want it on the handle I like it better on the handle for sure okay so let's I'm gonna untie it so when I do my bows I usually just do um, a tennis shoe tie without the beginning part I start with the loop okay I do my loop swoop and pull I don't do the very first Part of a tennis shoe tie okay and then like so here's my bow here's the size of my bow I think that's going to be the perfect size for this but let's pretend it's too big you can pull on the tails to shorten it up and make yourself a smaller bow see that and then you just cut your tails accordingly so you can make your bows bigger or smaller and make them bigger you just keep pulling on the um, loops um, well, I guess you can't, I guess you can't make them bigger. Well, you can, but you've got to loosen your knot. I guess you got to loosen your knot. There we go. Just got to loosen your knot up a little bit and you can make them bigger, but it's easier to make them smaller because you just pull on the tails. So now I've got it too big again. So in the variation of color, you guys don't, you can't buy seam binding like that. You have to make it that way. And I've done tons of videos on how to stain your seam binding. Um, so the best bet is to go over to YouTube um, because I've done so many, go to YouTube on my channel, Tammy Loves Vintage, and type in seam binding, and you'll learn how to do it easily. But I just dip it in tea, um, and then, like, if you want it really dark, you can get several colors out of one batch, right? Um, okay, so is that too long? Do I want it to go on either side? How do I want this to be? I should have tied it right to the thing. Yeah, I guess that will work like that. So daggone it, now I gotta, <laughs> gotta do it again. Cause I didn't attach it. I've used to hot glue in it, but it's not gonna stick to that glass. So we'll have to tie it. All right, and so in this case, I do have to do the tie thing. Okay, cause I have to, I'm trying to tie it to something. Usually I just make a bow and hot glue it down. Hopefully all that makes sense. There you go. There's your bow, and then you can still adjust your bow size. Check your tails. 
Um, but yeah, so you can get different colors of darkness out of one roll of seam binding. It's just how, how strong is your tea. Um, I usually do the steeped tea method where you do several bags in a little bit of water and then um, dip it in. The longer it stays, the darker it gets, you know. So there you go. There's your little bow on top. So that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. Um, so, okay. So you guys, that's all I got. So let's flip you out of that camera and then I'll let you see it here with me. Um, there it is up close. And then here it is like all the way around what it's going to look like. Okay. And then this little easel, you can just pick up it's just a cup and saucer eagle easel I'm sure you can find them on um, Amazon I don't I don't think I have any of those linked in my store I don't think um, I guess I could look for some now that we've done this I don't think I've ever done anything with these before so anyway there you go so I hope you guys enjoyed this one I'm happy to have that done um, for spring so yeah at the rate I get to things <laughs> it could have been winter before I got to it so I'm glad I I'm glad we made it happen in the springtime so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you picked up the little inspiration to do something. And um, I appreciate you watching me. So I will see you next time. And I hope you have a great day. And um, thank you for following my page. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, Pamela, I'm glad I inspired you. That's always what we want to do. So have a great day, you guys. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of this thing. You gotta hit four things to get out. <laughs> so here we go, bye-bye. Okay, so I need to hit that and then hit that. Whoops, that.